G'day guys, Will here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to attempt to fix my voice recording quality once and for all. I know that the the quality has kind of varied a lot in the, the videos that I've been doing in the last couple of weeks in particular. I've been working around a lot of ambient noise here with kids and wife trying to do things and things like that and experimenting with various different microphones and you know, I bought the headset as well. And while the headset microphone, which is what you're actually listening to right now, it has made a big improvement in terms of you know audio isolation and not picking up you know noises around me and things like that the overall quality of the sound just isn't what it was when I was using my old microphone so just to show you quickly that is the Rode Broadcaster microphone that I normally use and that is a very very expensive microphone actually it cost me an absolute fortune but normally it sits down on this sort of stand on the floor sort of in front of the rig and the problem there is that I have to have the gain boosted really high because it's so far away from me that it, you know it, it has to pick up the sound clearly but then it also ends up picking up a bunch of other stuff as well now obviously having a seat mover and all the stuff around me I don't want to have the microphone right near my face or anything like that because I might move and bump into it and obviously I don't want to be picking up all the vibrations that happen through the rig and you know creaking and all those kinds of noises as well so it's been a bit of a compromise between a few different things but I was having one of my 2am thinking moments this morning and um, came up with what I think is an idea which is going to work really well so today I thought we'd give it a try and see what happens so we'll jump in now I'll show you what I plan to do we'll go and build the thing and yeah so hopefully the audio quality is going to go from what you're hearing now to something like this, which is obviously a lot better, and what we're going to be using to achieve it is a jigsaw. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so I was thinking long and hard about exactly how to go about doing this. Basically, the aim is to try and have the microphone as close to my face as possible, but not in a position where I'm going to bump into it or, you know, risk damaging it or, you know, headbutting it or something like that while the seat's moving around. And obviously, I don't want it to be obstructing my field of view or in the way of any of the controls or anything like that. So I was thinking trying to mount it up above my head somewhere and trying to minimize the cost and use things that I already have laying around. And what I've come up with is an idea to basically mount a plate across here and effectively have this sitting like that and then we've got an adjustable boom essentially here so we can bring that out and then we end up basically having the microphone sitting above our head something like that so what we're going to be doing is building a little adapter plate to sit on here and hopefully that will get the job done so it will quickly collapse this down again so we're going to need to know how wide it needs to be so I'm probably going to go a little bit wider than we need to but we need we know we need to have it at least what is that, 21 centimeters wide. And then we want to also utilize the holes here to actually mount it. So we're going to put some screws through or some bolts through with some nuts on the back. And basically that's going to be 7.5, it looks like. Yeah, 7.5 centimeters from the center to the center. So we'll, do, we'll be drilling four holes, cutting a piece of MDF to the right size. And then we'll, what we'll do is we'll actually take the base plate off the microphone. So I'll quickly show you now. So the base of this has got a thread on it that will screw into the adapter plate. That will go on there and if everything goes to plan we should have awesome quality sound with no visual obstructions and yeah, it should be awesome. So let's go give it a try. Alright, so this is the bit where I get to pretend like I know what the hell I'm doing. So we've got a nice straight edge on this piece of wood just along here. So we're going to use that as our top. We're going to probably use the full width I think because it's nice and clean. We'll cut off that end bit there, tidy that up. And then we know we want to have about 12 centimeters of headroom here. So we'll measure 12 centimeters to begin with. Back off here. 12 centimeters to there. It doesn't need to be super precise as long as it's nice and square. 12 centimeters. Do the same thing on this side as well. I'm sure that you guys that actually know what you're doing with woodworking and metalworking are probably absolutely cringing. Scotty, if you're watching this, I apologize, mate. <laughs> but sometimes you just got to get the job done, right? So, that is going to be our bracket. I'm going to cut that piece off. So we'll cut across there. We'll tidy up this piece. All that should be all good. And yeah, so let's play with some big boy toys. Let's get the jigsaw working. All right, safety first. Probably look like as big a dickhead as I feel, but power. All right. See if we can cut a straight line here. Ah. <laughs> 
probably should have um, put a sheet over all my stuff before I did that. Eh, whatever. <laughs> okay, it looks relatively square. Probably need a little bit of a tidy up on this edge with a file or something. We also need to just tidy up this edge here as well. So we'll do that quickly now. All right, so 18 centimeters across and 7.5 centimeters up. So I'm gonna write that down. So 18 or 180 millimeters by 700 or 750, 75 millimeters. Maths. <laughs> okay, so what have we got here? We've got a width of 27 point, what is that? 20, 26.7. So 26.7 divided by two equals 13.35. So we want to go 13.3 to the center. 13.3, okay, and that gives us our center line there. And then we want to do the same thing along the top. So we know we've got, I think it was 11, 11 centimeters tall. So 11.5 yeah, centimeters tall, 115 millimeters divided by two equals 57.5. So line it up with the mark that we had before. What was that? 57.5. So 57.5 about there. So this mark here is our dead center. Okay, so we know that our hole centers need to be 180 millimeters apart. So half of 180 is 90, so the 90 mark will be to there. So we go along the line, go to 90 millimeters, and put a mark there. And again, 90 millimeters, and put a mark there. Okay, so that is where the holes are going to be spaced apart. And we'll just check that the gaps are correct here. So we've got 45 millimeters roughly and 45 millimeters roughly. So that looks good. Okay, so now we want to do exactly the same thing this direction. So 75 millimeters divided by two would be 37.5, 9.5. So we are all good, ready to start drilling. And right on the center, probably should do a smaller pilot hole, but meh. Now we just need to drill out the center hole, make that big enough to fit the mic stand through. All right, so we've got our boom here, which needs to fit through that hole, but it needs to be a really snug fit. So we're just gonna file it out until it's absolutely perfect. You don't want to accidentally drill it a little bit too big and then have it not fit snugly, so. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like it's pretty straight there. Seems to be sitting pretty flush and not moving around or anything, so let's go do a quick uh, test fit on the rig. Then we'll give it a spray of black paint so that it looks nice and clean and yeah, test it out. And yeah, it looks like it's all nice and square. So, and I'm sure it's not absolutely perfect, but it's good enough and we'll be able to, if we unscrew that a little bit, we can actually extend the boom out to there as well. So that should give us way better quality sound. So let's go give it a coat of paint. when everything just lines up. I'm so hopeless at measuring and <laughs> I get I get impatient. I just don't I don't take the time to measure things properly. I think that's probably my um, downfall. Now the beauty of this as well is because the monitor mount is completely independent and not bolted to the um, the actual cockpit rig at all, any movement in the cockpit rig, which is obviously gonna happen when you've got your weight shifting and things like that, 
when you're sort of, you know, platform and everything's moving, none of that's going to be translated across, so we're not going to get any movement whatsoever in the monitor rig, and therefore no movement, no rustling of cables or anything like that inside the microphone. So let's get the microphone mounted up now and see if it all works. Okay, so we definitely look like a professional streamer now with a microphone dangling in the frame, but more importantly, the sound quality is massively improved now. But we also need to check as well with our sort of ambient noise and things like that. So Jill is actually at her desk at the moment. So can you do a little bit of typing please there? Sure. So she's typing away. And like you can hear it a little bit, but it's definitely not so like if I'm talking and if, if I'm driving at the same time and stuff, I don't think you're even going to hear that at all. So that seems to work quite well. The difference obviously being the microphone's a lot closer to my face now, so it's not having to have the gain cranked up as much. Can you just walk towards me and just sort of chat, say hello, blah, 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 hello. blah. Hello. We're Is racing it? tonight. Yeah, hopefully. Get a practice. Yeah. Hello. I can only see your hand. Say hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> my broken thumb is better, so I can practice. Yay! <laughs> but um, yeah, like it seems to like it's it's not picking up too much noise when somebody sort of walks over and does things. So I think it's going to work. But anyway, let's jump in now, have a drive, and see what it sounds like with all the other stuff going on as well. All right, so I thought we'd do some dirt track again, simply because it's a little bit more chaotic than the MX-5s that I normally do. So it should give us a good indication of how much noise we pick up from various different bits and pieces as we drive around. Now, it's been a week since I've done this, so I'm probably going to be a bit sketchy. But that's okay. We'll persevere. See what we can do. Whoa. <laughs> Crashing already. Yeah, people got up me about taking the wrong line through the whoops here, so we'll try and see if we can take a better line. I've got a feeling I might actually be in a two-wheel drive rather than a four-wheel drive here because it's a bit more tail-happy than what I'm used to, but that's okay. Persevere with it. All right. One more lap. Oh, tail getting close. Tear off. idea whether this was a good lap or what. I guess we'll find out when we start the race, won't we? <laughs> I don't even know where the start finish line is to be honest. <laughs> Checkered flag, there we go. Okay, race time. Now it looks like we got one person behind us, so we weren't well two people behind us actually, so it wasn't we weren't the slowest, but oh well. <laughs> Let's get rolling. Whoop, I stalled it already. Good start. There we go. All the gear and no idea by the looks of things. <laughs> so we're staying behind this guy, don't tap into him. Okay, get ready, going green it says. Are we green yet? Looks like maybe we are, yep, I think we are. Yep, there we go. It's 
so much mud. I don't know if you have a limited tear off, so what? Whoa, we've got a few crashes there. I've got to get the tail out better than I am. Whoa, we've got a crash. Try not to drive into it. Whoops. <laughs> Oh boy. Whoops, don't hit him. Up the inside. <laughs> Not quite. Never taking my hand off the shifter here. Tear off. Whoa. This is too much fun though. So good. Oh. <laughs> I saw that coming. We have to go around, I think. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to end up getting disqualified. <laughs> uh, he's saying I need to pit for repairs, but I'm not going to. Is it just me or is it getting muddier? Seems like the track's getting muddier as we go. I don't know. Probably imagining it. got to be a knack to it that I'm not getting. Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, I think my engine blew. <laughs> yep, my engine blew. I don't know what was going on there. I think I must have had a broken radiator or something. But anyway, okay guys, so hopefully you are impressed with the improved audio quality. I'm definitely really happy with it. It looks kind of cool having it dangling there in the frame as well. So we're definitely moving on up in the world now, getting things improved for the quality of the streams and videos in the future. Now on that subject, we're also starting construction on the studio space, hopefully within the next week or two as well. So really excited about that. Jill will be absolutely thrilled that we're finally moving all this gear out of the living room and into its own proper space, which is gonna free me up to be able to do more sort of DIY videos. We'll be able to pull things apart on a bench. We'll be able to build stuff. We're building a new computer as well in, this, in the very near future as well to drive all of this stuff. And uh, yeah, lots of exciting stuff to come. Now, I also just wanna quick give that. I just wanna quickly give a quick shout out to the Discord channel as well. We've got a really great community of guys there that is growing very, very quickly. And yeah, it's really starting to kick off and get some really good discussions there happening. Everything from overclocking, PC, building, sim racing, all the various different titles. And we're also looking at doing some subscriber championship races and things like that very soon as well. So jump in the Discord channel. Link is above my head for you right now as well as in the description. But that is it for today's video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you've liked it. Hit the thumbs down if you haven't for some reason, but let me know in the comments what I can improve so that you don't hit the thumbs down next time. And above all, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.